We're totally different people now, and we're the same. And we have the same love. 100%, like, I'd never fallen out of love with you. I had just put it over here. Jennifer Lopez finally files for divorce from Ben Affleck, something we all saw coming for a long time, but in the end, a lot of major twists to this story. Like, it's not nobody noticing that. That everybody else that's left to, oh, she was too this, she was this, she was that. But did he say she was perfect? And he's the only one that said she was a great girlfriend and how he wish he hadn't messed it up. How is that the only man in her life that had regrets about their relationship? But worked in everybody else. I work harder and harder and harder and harder. And when everybody's sleeping, I'm doing more. Jennifer Lopez has been blamed for the breakdown of her fourth marriage to Oscar winner Ben Affleck. But a new report now suggests that the Batman A-lister was the one who actually threw in the towel. Many were shocked when the couple spun the block after they were unable to make it down the aisle while dating in the early 2000s. They got back together in 2021 and married in 2022, but now they are headed for divorce court. A purported tipster reportedly told In Touch Weekly that Lopez will never forgive her ex for abandoning their relationship and not trying to work it out this time around. Despite efforts to keep things civil for the sake of their children, she also reportedly feels let down by how Affleck's stance since she filed for divorce on AUG. 20, the gossip site. The unnamed source gave more details about the family outing to the Beverly Hills Hotel and what really happened. The person suggested that the Love Don't Cost a Thing singer was trying to be civil for the children. Affleck's children with Jennifer Garner Finn, 15 years old, and Samuel, 12 years old, and Lopez's twins, Max and Emmy, 16, with singer Mark Anthony during their Septi 14 brunch. They were all spotted at the Beverly Hills Hotel, where Lopez and Affleck were seen holding hands and exchanging kisses but her husband continued to have a somber and sour disposition. Jennifer would never make a scene in public, especially in front of their kids, but she has so much resentment in touch, reported its anonymous mouthpiece said. She's made it plain she'll never forgive Ben for being such a cold-hearted jerk and giving up on the marriage in such a savage manner. Affleck's public and private acts in recent months haven't helped ease the situation, by not taking responsibility for his part in the demise of their marriage. Over the summer, the heir actor moved out of their over $60 million estate into a $100,000 a month rental. And by July, he had purchased a $20 million home. Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck are revealing the real reason behind their 2003 breakup. Jen and Ben, who broke off their engagement in 2003 before rekindling their romance nearly two decades later, are finally sharing insight into why they called off their first wedding. JLo shares details in her new documentary, The Greatest Love Story Never Told, now streaming on Amazon Prime Video, saying, quote, Ben and I, we broke up three days before our wedding. We had a big wedding planned. 14 ushers and bridesmaids, and three days before, we just crumbled under the pressure. Ben echoes the statement, saying that the real reason behind their split was, quote, the massive amount of scrutiny around our private life. However, the couple goes on to agree that calling off their first wedding led them each on a self-discovery journey and eventually back together again when they reconnect it in 2020. Did you hesitate at all? No. Um, I mean, I feel like along the way I was hesitant, you know, it's like stutter stepping the whole way, knowing that I wanted to go forward, knowing that I had this tremendous impulse and kind of like drive to, to say something like I had not wanted to say in my whole life, you know, I just in my, and being an artist and even in growing up, like I've never wanted to kind of share something in that way, the way I did when I got back together with Ben and we started making this album. And I have some of my team here who made the album with us. Um, but it was just very clear to me that I had to, one, make this music because it was just kind of very organically pouring out of me what um, I wanted to say about love and what I had discovered and what I wanted to share. And then in that kind of 
revisiting the 20 years in between was inevitable. And so as that started happening, you know, you start realizing there's so much more to the story to tell than just the music and just the movie. There's even more than that. Right. And so and it became kind of a quest of like, I have to do this. I have to get this now. A big deal, I think, for Ben. He was watching me make the music and was, you know, kind of stunned. Like, oh my God, you're in there making music every day. You wrote that song today and that song today. And, that song. and I was like, yeah, we did. We did this. We're making this music. I'm very inspired right now. I don't think he ever thought again it would lead to the Amazon original and all of this kind of like film and doc and all that kind of stuff. But he embraced it as well and saw it happening. And again, kind of very in from a natural and organic way said, I'm going to support you. You're an artist. I see what's happening. I, I know what it feels like to have that impulse because he's such a great writer and director and actor and, you know, producer. Bobby, this isn't about me and you. Bobby, take that out. No, this is what... That is not part of the script. <laughs> these, these are really good. The 70s, they're light handheld. Really I don't good. care. I know. Hey, right now, it just sucks. Rocks. No, it doesn't suck. That's <laughs> yes, wrong. It does. That's wrong. That's just inexperience that you haven't done this process before. Enough. I'm sorry that I'm not a winning director. Well, I'm sorry. If I was doing sorry a musical concert, all the things when I was 21 if I was doing a years rock old. show, I would say to you, tell me how this goes. Are you usually afraid of before your first performance? And so he felt what was happening. And, you know, when somebody loves you in that way, they just want you to, to fly. And I think that's what he. He really allowed. On that first day, I showed everybody this book. This book is a book that Ben gave me on our first Christmas back together. It is every letter and every email that we wrote to each other from 20 years ago and today. It became like our Bible, and we just left it there in the studio. And people would thumb through it. They're like, "Can we look at it?" I was like, "Look at it." First off, who does that? Like, I like this guy gets. Boyfriend of the year, as far as I'm concerned. And get this, Ben got a nickname in the studio because of his sweet gift. It's like you, you've been showing all the musicians all those letters that, uh, and they were like, yeah, we, we call you Penn Affleck. And I was like, oh my God. You know, this project was something I didn't really plan. It was really inspiration, like being inspired. Um, to make music for the first time like that in 20 years. Um, so you can imagine what the inciting incident was. Halo and the artist formerly known as Puffy were so hot and heavy, but I don't think this is why Jennifer Lopez is acting a little wonky. I think she's just out of touch. So let's set the scene and walk down memory lane. 1997, Biggie was unalived and we all knew who Puff Daddy was. Later that same year, Puffy's solo album comes out and the song Can't Nobody Hold Me Down with Mace is at the top of the chart. Around this time, he's with Kim Porter. The same year, 1997, J-Lo does Selena and it is a breakout role for her. Yeah, she did Money Train and I think she did Anaconda later, but this was her big break. She also divorces her first husband, Ohani Noah. 1999, Puff Daddy is at his peak. J-Lo releases her first album, On The Sick, and then they debut as a couple. They're both from New York, she's from the Bronx, he's from Harlem. People can't get enough of them. They are quite literally the it couple. They're doing red carpets together, they're at fashion shows, they're throwing parties, they're always dressed to- When they go raid Puffy's house, and they get all these videos of J-Lo doing this and J-Lo doing that, and they know the fact that J-Lo lied and said that the gun was shined or whatever. That man just prison destroyed his life and she knew it was tough. I'm quite sure they probably called him. The FBI gave respect and a courtesy call of being after that. It's a white man who got respect in the white world. I'm quite sure they said, we want to show you some things. It's about your wife. When he see this that her and Puffy were doing and who they were doing it with, I'm quite sure. They gave him those tapes. And I'm quite sure he could never look at her the same. I'm quite sure they had for a divorce. <laughs> Cause you know, that's a man who had a good life. Great parents, don't spend a lot of money, ain't tripping on Papa Lassie. 
He's living his life. He got his own, he got his own team. She done brought all the extra shit to that motherfucker. He won out. He keep, he stayed married to the channel, he'd be broke. Instead of just doing movies, he'd be doing yum yum donuts commercials. Next thing he'd be doing is Jack in the Box commercials. <laughs> all Jennifer Lopez had to do was marry a white boy, uh, you know, Oscar winner, for people to stop remembering that she had a gun in her pocketbook. She had gunshot residue on her hands the night that Natanya was was shot at that club. Not once has she spoken up for the betterment of that woman or say something in her defense to stop Puffy from gaslighting her and trying to put hits out on her because he was afraid that maybe one day they would open the case and she still has the bullet fragments in her face like J-Lo has said nothing. You, you really thought that just running off and marrying Ben Affleck it was was going to not all love stories have a happy ending. When Ben and I got back together, it was just like, I want to make music again. Marry me, marry me, say yes. It seemed like a fairy tale, but it really wasn't. D-Day was definitely deliberate. A source tells ET J-Lo chose August 20th, the two-year anniversary of their lavish wedding in Georgia, as a way for her to symbolize closing this chapter. I feel like there's a lot of life ahead of me, so I'm, I'm very excited about it. We're also told after a roller coaster of emotion, she is taking the steps she needs to in order to take care of herself. Other big divorce revelations? I ain't never met a man like that. The couple reportedly had no prenup and J-Lo filed the paperwork herself without a lawyer. I think that what this signifies is that she's in control of this process. She's not going to be bound by Ben. She's not going to be bound by her attorneys. This is her fourth divorce, so this is not a new process to her. We're just two people with kind of different approaches trying to learn to compromise. Amid Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck's divorce battle, the duo was seen engaging in a verbal spat in Beverly Hills, as per a recent report. Jennifer was clearly impacted by the stress as she was seen crying. It seems Hollywood's estranged couple, Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck, are having a hard time in finalizing their infamous divorce. The duo is in the middle of a messy divorce, and the drama is spilling into the public eye. According to recent reports, the DUP, previously known as Benefer, had a heated argument in Beverly Hills, grabbing everyone's attention. An article in Marca claims that Affleck and Lopez got into an argument in public. The pair was reportedly seen yelling at each other while out with their children. While Ben watched from a distance, Jennifer Lopez was observed wiping away tears throughout the stressful excursion. Jennifer reportedly feels devastated and as though Ben has checked out of their relationship, according to the sources. I've had photographers outside my house and that sort of thing, and I've been a subject of the media where you kind of go like, that's not me, this person they're talking about, that's not me at all. Well, looks like things are kind of going back to normal for Ben Affleck now. A source telling ET the actor feels relieved about his divorce from Jennifer Lopez. I've always, for better or for worse, have followed my heart. Our source says Ben is doing well and is happy. He feels somewhat relieved that this chapter is closed and likes he can fully be himself and continue to surround himself with family and friends. The source adding he's also immersing himself into work. We do our best. We do try our best. Jen filed for divorce August 20th on what would have been the second anniversary of their wedding ceremony in Georgia. A source telling ET she didn't want their marriage to end, but it was clear that Ben was not into it. This is where it brought me to. One of the points of contention in their marriage? How open JLo was about it, especially in her documentary, The Greatest Love Story Never. So, what do you have to say about this? Comment down your thoughts right now and make sure to give this video a like and also subscribe to the channel to stay updated in future. Until then, keep exploring.